There are seismic fault lines running underneath Indonesia's many islands, any one of which can lead to an earthquake or tsunami. The tsunami that hit Palu came within 10 minutes of the quake. Systems in place off the coast to detect a tsunami largely failed to warn people in time, contributing to the scale of the disaster. And it's left a lot of people asking, how reliable are other tsunami warning systems in places around the world? There are various types operating across the globe, but we'll take a look at how some of those operate shortly. First, let's take a look at the system off the Indonesian coast. Set up with international support at an estimated cost of $100 million, the system was originally designed to operate using a network of floating buoys to relay information on seismic activity and sea levels to detection stations via satellites. But the system proved highly problematic. The buoys were frequently stripped of their valuable parts by passing ships, hoping to make a profit on selling what they found, and costs became prohibitive. By 2018, most buoys had failed, and none had even been deployed in the vicinity of the latest Indonesian tsunami. Instead, a system of tidal gauges and seismic monitors were in place. While it detected the earthquake, power cuts on Palu meant that tsunami communication systems failed to warn the population via sirens or text messages. But even if the boys had been working, they may not have even helped. For the buoy to be useful, you need time for the wave to come to get to the buoy, and then you need some time for the signal to go to the satellite, come back. So if the earthquake happens very, very close to shore, you really don't have time to do that. In the particular case, the tsunami arrived within 10 minutes after the earthquake. So in these cases, um, you know, the best you can hope for is essentially your warning is the earthquake. So what can be learned from other warning systems around the globe? Since the Indian Ocean Boxing Day tsunami of 2004, advanced systems to detect tsunami waves have been put in place across the world's oceans. The United States probably has the most advanced detection technology. It's called DART, and it uses deep water sensors, buoys, and satellites. Australia uses the same kind of technology. Japan also has a sophisticated seismic and buoy detection system, but it has something else too. A crucial part of the system is the way the Japanese government has invested in public education. As soon as strong shaking or weak ground motion continues for an extended period in coastal regions, people are told not to wait for a tsunami warning, but to immediately evacuate to the safety of higher ground. No warning system is foolproof, and can even fail catastrophically in the immediate aftermath of an earthquake. But improved public education, as in Japan, is the most basic but effective safety measure for populations at risk. 